Let me turn this music down just a little. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Tales from Tawatha. This is session 41. We're bringing you the stories of adventure, danger, loss, and a heroic triumph from a land within our imaginations. Bringing you these tales today is Narita the Drowned. Hello. Cora Hilltopple, who is not here yet, may show up eventually, we'll see. Uh, Harbacure told Middleek. Who's muted, maybe? Or stepped away? He stepped away. He's taking the. Okay. He stepped away, yeah. We have baby issues. Uh, lost. Sup. I don't have a baby. <laughs> Chance. I also don't have a baby! <laughs> it's a big celebration. And Welgwyn Woodbarrel. Hello! Thank you for being with us today to share in our tale. Here is what happened last time. Having been recently inducted into the Silver Blades, our heroes returned to the Magician's Apprentice to purchase the crystal ball that Nerwagok was holding for them. Upon leaving the shop, they were accosted by a strange tiefling who claimed to have won a key to a temple in a game of chance. She presented herself as a Raleigh Firestone and said that she saw the party on their way into town and thought that they might be more capable than the local mercenaries. She went on to explain that the Serpent's Bite Temple lies in the wasteful mire to the north, and that she heard and read of a great artifact that's housed there. Though many adventurers have attempted to claim the treasure, none have returned. Our heroes agreed to accompany her to the temple in search of this artifact for a share of half of the plunder. Along the way to the mire, Alik became suspicious of this new guide and proposed that they use a zone of truth to verify that she was trustworthy. Alari protested, but seemed to agree, but Lost moved against Alik's scheme, and the party agreed that a zone of truth would not be necessary. The group headed north to the wasteful mire, where they found the bog quite uninviting. Forced to rest for the night in the insect-filled swamp, they were assaulted by lizard men in the night, but quickly dispatched them. In the morning, as they neared the Serpent's Bite Temple, they were attacked by several water weirds. Fortunately, a Raleigh had come prepared and shown a lantern which revealed the water weirds within the cloudy depths they used to hide. With the elemental guardians defeated, a Raleigh believes the temple to be nearby. And that brings us to now. The fervor of battle gives way to the buzzing of swamp insects and croaking of frogs and toads. Claiming, uh, calming as it is after the chaos of nearly drowning in the mire seems behind you. Stand within the swamp. A Raleigh speaks out. Uh, we must be near the temple or the fiends wouldn't have attacked. Shall we continue? Uh, sure. Um, I mean, after extending so much power, a, a quick rest would be nice, but if that's not possible or safe, I understand as well. Um, as you've seen, it is dangerous to rest in the swamp. We might be better off finding shelter within the temple itself. But... It is up to you, ultimately. That's a good plan. Yeah, let's go to the temple. All right, it should be just up ahead, uh, if I'm correct. A short ways ahead, something slightly out of place comes into sight. Though covered in moss and seemingly in the process of being devoured by the swamp, a stone structure lies helpless in the mire ahead. As you approach, Arali's pace quickens and she turns to you, smiling excitedly. An enormous structure seems to be barely holding itself above the waters of the swamp. To its front and a dozen or so meters of fort's face, spread to either side are two decaying towers, nearly lost to the murky depths. Beyond and towards the apparent entryway of the building, a stone pillar with a a uh, stone blade protruding from the top rises from the muck. Further still and flanking the doorway on its left is a statue of a strange creature 
with three heads, jaws agape and flush with sharp teeth. To the right of the entryway is a stone obelisk carved and worn by age and environment. Crowning the crest of the structure's face is a very intricately carved figure with four arms, two crossed, the others lay by its side, wings spread wide and a faceless head adorned with an enormous headdress. Much of the detail is worn, though the statue atop the temple seems to defy the erosive qualities of the harsh environment. I want to check out the, uh, the multi-headed statue a little bit more. All right, let me get the scene in here. Rain drips down from overhead. Still dark in the murky swamp. So here's the scene. Uh, you look up at the statue. It seems to be carved of some stone or perhaps even fashioned of some metal, maybe bronze, something resistant to erosion and corrosion. So perhaps brass even. Okay. Where is everybody in this scene? Not that it matters. <laughs> everywhere but these sort of grassy platforms is at least ankle deep water okay. trudging through it is precarious slow disturbing to those used to the city or uh, simpler meadows gotta get Isaac in here forgot that I have to admit people Maggie, where do you want to be? Um, I'm going to be with... Hmm. I'll go up with Chance and check out the uh, the statue. Chance, which one are you in front of? Oh, you know. I was or looking at He's it. He's just you looking at looking it. looking at it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll be next to you. Anyway. All right. Going for the human coverage, I see. Yep. Tiefling. Tiefling coverage. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yeah, true, true. <laughs> There's something sort of serpent-like about the statue, though you can't quite put your finger on it. It clearly has arms and hands, which is would be unusual, but it's sort of slender, and it seems to almost uh, wriggle its way off of the temple below it. Well, Lari, did they tell you about how to open the, the temple? She's kind of like running around and looking at everything. She's like, this is, this is so cool, guys. We made it. We, we did indeed. So uh, what do you know about this place, Araldi? Araldi. Alari. Alari, sorry. <laughs> I have her name written down. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I did a bit of research. Uh, a lot of it you could probably guess just from the name. I, I brought some tools to help us in case we get to into, into any trouble, but from what I could find out about um, what was worshipped here and, and everything, I collected some information on how the priests would conduct their rites. In order to gain entry, they would tell the story of the great serpent, Palos. She opens up a small leather-bound journal and flips a few pages until she finds what she seeks. Uh, here it is. Pelos was kind and sly and would grant those worthy and diligent great treasures. Sounds good. One morning, a poor and starving miner named Levanti went to the river to fish, leaving his two children to tend the house. At noon, the children were met by Semyonich, a soldier who had much wealth and loved to read. After hearing the children's plight, he agreed to help them, but only if they would not reveal his secret. In the night when Levanti slept, 
Semyonich, brought to the children a man with sparkling green eyes. The man wondered if the children would be spoiled by his gifts, but Semyonich told him that they were humble and hardworking children and deserved any gifts which might be given. The man told the boys to watch for the trail and dig along it. He then transformed into Polos and slithered away, leaving a large trench in the ground as he left. The boys dug as they were told and quickly found gold nuggets. Polos smiled from afar, but was beset by a great eagle owl and injured. He fled the village to recuperate and come up with a plan to defeat his rival. Uh, I'm not sure what all that means here. I don't see a trench. So, let's see, I'd like to approach, I don't know, whatever this sundial pedestal thing is. A small stone pillar rises about three feet from the shallow waters of the swamp. At its top are etchings of the sun rising, fully shown, sinking into the ground, and finally a crescent moon carved in a circle. At the center is a stone blade, which extends to the edge like the face of a sundial. The inner circle, containing the blade, within the carvings, is separated from the rest by a small seam. Does the center bladed portion turn? Would you like to try to turn it? Yes. You grab the stone blade protruding from it and turn in one direction. Kind of grinds a bit from perhaps years of disuse, but after a bit of movement and loosening, it seems to rotate freely within the pillar. Do we have any dragon claws that might show us the pattern? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that reference, I guess. Uh, it's Skyrim. It's Skyrim. Oh, yeah. oh no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, Are there so... any fallen rocks for the answer written on them next <laughs> yeah. to the door? Please. Almost. <laughs> These super challenging puzzles. Well, that story uh, that uh, Ara said ha did, did mention time of day. Uh, and uh, looks like we've got some symbols representing time of day on this pillar here. But we should take a look around what else we've got before we start fiddling with too much more. Oh, I'd it like moves? To look at the monolith thing. Okay. You head over to it. Yeah. Just check it out, see if there's any symbols or any useful information on it. The rain I'll forms ripples in the, in the swamp as you trudge forward sloshing water as you go a man-sized obelisk juts from the mire has three faces all carved with cryptic symbols some of serpents others owls or perhaps eagles still more hands children a man with armor and many books and a man with a shovel carvings are worn by the wind and rain of the mire but still mostly legible if you'd like to see them. Yeah. Just slam them right on you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put the that is, here. Is uh, filtered? What? Filtered? Serpents? What? Apparently ERP <laughs> is, a, is a, some sort of swear word. <laughs> It what? looks fine to me. It's all well. Just turn off your filter. Well, yeah, no. I but mean, I but just, why? The, the but question why? is why. <laughs> <laughs> That's delightful. Th things are best answered off, <laughs> off screen. <laughs> uh, enterprise resource planning. Mm. It's That's filthy. Why? That's a filthy word. I can um, see why that would like, be censored. Does it look like the monolith would move? Like, could I turn it like you can with the sundial? Would you like to try to turn it? Yeah. The stone is cold and slick under your hands as you grab it, try to rotate it. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to be moving. You could try to force it if you like. Mm, I mean, I'm fairly weak, I don't know. Certainly doesn't move easily if it moves at all. Okay, but all of the things on it 
kind of sound like they line up with the things that were described in the story, right? The eagle owl, the serpent, the all that stuff. Oh, what's this? Check oh, yeah, it out. It does, does seem familiar. So we got our eagle owl guy. We've got our serpent guy. We've got some kids. Here. You can look. Sweet. There we go. Um, is this I mean, right here, is this like, the dais with the uh, sword in it, or is that just a sundial? It's not a sword, it is a stone blade as though, oh. like, the kind you would find on a sundial. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Is it, hmm, okay, so in the morning, the poor and starving miner goes to the river to fish. At noon, the children meet the soldier. At the at night, he brings polos. Okay, so it has three sides, right? Yeah, it has three sides. And one of them is kids digging, or like digging things and kids. One of them is. The eagle owl? Um, oh, though there is a, a carving of some strange type of bird, it doesn't seem to line up with the other carvings. It seems to be like atop the obelisk at the point. Hmm. Oh yeah, can you guys change that? That's good. Yeah. I'll have to disable that later, but for now, it's good. And you said there's a snake carving like on top of the obelisk? There is the some sort of bird carving. It's a okay. strange amalgamation of like an eagle and an owl for those who know avian anatomy. Uh, what uh, What's the deal with these... Uh trough looking things there are some strange troughs jutting from the mire that seem to be catching enormous amounts of rainwater small little microcosms of tiny fish swim about in them a couple of frogs swim back and forth or rest near the top Okay, and now uh, this creepy looking statue. A heavily eroded beast in stone is set into the mire just to the left of the temple's entrance. Its three heads bear fearsome, jagged teeth that seem as daggers despite the wear of time and weather. Inside each mouth is a small stone lever which invites your touch, though the menacing teeth which guard them leave you wary. The central mouth has two such levers. Mm. Nice. How many toggle switches do you think are involved in this puzzle? <laughs> <sighs> it's the, uh, I forget which gym that is, the Pokemon electric gym all over again. You gotta touch the right bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah, let's check all the trash cans. Oh Pull wait, we're right in a swamp. <laughs> this whole place is a trash can. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, so from I'd like to see you tell Shrek that this whole place is a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I'm familiar with this man. <laughs> this is my trash can. <laughs> I'd probably agree. Uh, I guess. But... I was I, thinking more of the Native American with a single tear running down his cheek. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> watches watches you as you throw your trash in his swamp. <laughs> Except it would probably be like some meth head in Florida, right? Florida man. Like, yeah, just Florida man watching you. Um, okay. Is there anything like on the ground near the obelisk 
thing with all the panels. The obelisk is set into the mud and muck of the mire. It barely protrudes from it at its base. Um, I mean, it stands, you know, well out into the mire in plain view. Rain drips down on it. But it's not like there's like a stone base around it. Okay. There's sort of, I mean, a stone base. There's nothing noticeable on it immediately. Okay. So what what are the, the what uh, state the symbols on the pillar? Uh, they're right over here. The symbols on the pillar are here. Not, not on the obelisk on the, uh, this thing. Oh, the sundial or whatever you want to call yeah, it. Yeah, sundial. It has at its top are etchings of the sun rising, fully shown, sinking into the ground, and finally a crescent moon carved basically orthogonally around the circle. So the story includes the morning, noon, and nighttime. And those kind of seem like they line up with what it says on the yeah so what is it what i, I fiddled with the uh, the inner ring before is it lined up with anything currently um we'll say it's lined up with noon we shifted it to the full sun showing okay i'm gonna set it i'm gonna i want to rotate it back to the sun rising shifts into place. <laughs> well, it starts with morning, but... I don't know how we represent ch children being by themselves. Uh, all right, can you, uh, who, who's standing near the obelisk? Uh, I am. I'm here too. Can you, is, can you interact with any of the etchings? Do they look like they, you know, push in or? Or I know starts like pressing on the carvings. <sighs> Just gives them a little bit of force. I don't. I don't think so. Okay. There's not. There's no seam or anything around them. They, they're carved right into the stone. And the obelisk does not. You know, I, I know Welgwin tried, but the obelisk doesn't spin or anything. And no, no rotation. Uh, I'm not too strong, but I could try. <clears throat> uh, no. Okay. Lost, you said there was four levers in the monster's mouth? Yeah, the middle the middle one has two two levers. Okay. Well then it would seem to me that both of those, the, the sundial in the middle and the, the monster's mouth, I think, are related to the time of day, because we have four of both. Hmm, and there's only three really mentioned in the story. Yeah, I mean, as far as the 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 story told, it's really only mentioning morning, um, noon, and then uh, at night. So, but on the dial here, we have. Morning, we have four morning, positions. Night. Yes. So, would you do you do you do you guys think that with that being said, that there's probably a, of the one, two, three, four of the mouth of the monsters that would be one is a morning, one is a noon, evening, and one is a night. I don't know what, why you're making mm. that assumption. I I don't think. I mean, I, I don't have anything that leads me to go to go that direction. It's also not like we can turn the dial to make it line up with anything. So I'm kind of at a loss for, or the 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 um, obelisk. I'm kind of at a loss of how we would connect the time of day on the sundial with the images on the obelisk, even though they seem, based on the writing, like they should go together. Yeah, we got to be missing something here. 
I'm not sure what, mm. though. Raleigh pulls out her notebook and is flipping through it. What about your key? Oh, um... Yeah, one second. She reaches into her bag at her side, pulls out the serpent key. Again, the top of which is effectively just a carving of a serpent. Uh, with two jade eyes. The bottom is like an intricate sort of key tooth shape. Um, don't see any sort of keyhole. Does it she heads like up and any... examines the door. Does it look like there's anything on either the obelisk or the sundial? Because he mentions the writing mentions a man with sparkling green eyes coming at night yeah which could could reference the well uh that's true i mean that could reference the the jade eyes on the key yeah um i don't know just for shits and giggles i'm gonna go back to the sundial thing and i'm gonna set it to night uh i guess the moon Hmm. change anything I didn't hear anything or see anything. She keeps examining the door for any sort of keyhole. Is there anything interesting about the door? Any carvings, anything that you're seeing? Uh, it's it's a carved door. There's sort of a circle and a shaft leading down off the circle. I don't see much. Just like traces her hands all around mm -hmm. the shape. Watch for the trail and dig along it. Does it look like there's any... What is the door made out of? Uh, she sort of like presses up against it. Stone? Hmm. Yeah, hey, Alec, is it made of tin? <laughs> <laughs> Alec, Alec isn't on the board. There, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're muted. I bang on it, chomp on a little bit. I don't think it's ten guys. <laughs> it does seem maybe... to be some kind of stone, perhaps limestone. Um, hmm. um, can I do my stone cunning? Will that apply to this puzzle? Can I use some of my like knowledge of stone cutting history to find out <sighs> anything other than you know. Go ahead and roll history. That is <laughs> bad. That's a lot. These so. carvings look pretty good. good Maybe carving. dwarfs did it. The total would be like 12 at least. Let me pull up my sheet. Actually, sure the carver. Now it's history. History is in, so it's probably like 11 total. Um, nope. Fucking nothing. <laughs> so, so uh, aside from the stuff that's uh, swimming and living in these troughs, is there? Can I see the bottom? Is there anything el else? Can I inspect this more carefully? Uh, you can sort of like dig around them in them. There's a bit of muck at the bottom, obscuring the actual stone bottom. Yeah, let's 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 let's, mm. let's rummage around in it. Roll three d six. There's my roller stick. Roll oh. a deck save. Very lucky. Oh, great. Uh, I think that's. I think that's a flat eleven. Flat eleven. Yeah, because I don't think I have any dex modifier. All right, you're digging around in the muck. And you feel, ooh, something sharp. Oh! <laughs> you pull your hand up, and there's a snake, like, on your hand. You take two points of piercing damage and four points of poison damage. No. Sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> well, that hurt. Don't go digging around in the troughs. 
thought you were the one that was supposed to be good with animals. Snake releases. Oh, I didn't splashes know. Splashes in down into the trough, slithers over the side, and slithers away. We haven't tried any of the levers. Go for it. I don't want to because they're in a <laughs> statue's mouth. And I what read if we, one book one time. Is there like a stick that we can like, pull, like push the lever with? So if it gets chomped, then we don't get chomped? I mean, we're in a swamp. There's some trees around. You might be able to find a... Yeah, I'm going to try to find a big the, stick. The levers are pushed away from you and would have to be pulled with your hand oh, yeah so man, you need what you need is an umbrella and the yeah. mouth openings are fairly slender you could get your hand in there you could get a stick in there i suppose do they appear Pretty to be sure. like hinged like does anyone have mage hand I, oh yes yes well, good before idea we go, before we go pulling these levers i'm pretty sure so we have hands at the bottom of these cards so it's probably right left both are there are two levers is that what we said in the central mouth, there are two levers. Yeah, so it's probably corresponding to the cards, oh, right? Lever, yeah. lever, Son of a lever. bitch, you know that? You figured so that out good. So first is... Well, we don't know that the order corresponds to which ones we're supposed to pull them. I think the order that they're well, That might be, be time of day, in. though, right? Yeah, so well, there so we go. The first so, thing that happens okay. is the guy shows up with the books. Well, yeah. you know, so no. hold on. This looks like the guy going off to the coal mines. Yes. Oh, true. So that might be the first. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. I thought what, it was what? them digging, but I think that makes more sense. Yeah, because they're not grown men. Yeah. So, morning. But he left. The right he was a outside. miner who went to go to the river to fish. That is true. Yeah, but he could still be, that could still be him as a miner and then them yeah, by themselves. And then... Okay, fair enough. Okay, so then that was in the morning. So, I'm going to go back to the little uh, sundial thingy. Right. Mm. And I'm going to set it to... Bit. I'm going to set it to sun rising. All right. Uh, and then that's what the right... Yeah, that's the right hand lever. So you want to mage hand that right hand lever there, Chance? Uh, yes, I will. I will mage hand the far right uh, head. To pull All right. Close. So you cast mage hand. The spectral hand appears. You tell it to go pull the lever. Of the right hand. Doesn't seem to be able to pull the lever. No. All right. Note can that mage nice... hand is fairly weak and can only lift ten pounds, I believe. Um, how how big is the opening? For to the levers? Yeah. A couple of inches at best. You can sort of slip your hand past the teeth. Where's Heraldi? Heraldi. Heraldi. This is um, her place. Hi. We can stick our hand in. Hi, hi. Um, hey, so do you want to do the honors of trying to open uh, this cool, fun door by putting your hand in that mm. thing's mouth? I also have rope. We can use. Do you think it's safe? Uh, well, I, you know, this is. You wanted to have an adventure, right? Sometimes adventures um, involve sticking your hand in the creepy mouth and seeing what happens. Roll. Uh, Oh god, what is that called? Persuasion. Yeah, I was gonna say, wouldn't that just be persuasion? <laughs> I mean, it might be a little. It's that not deceptive. is a 21. Jesus Christ. You know what? You're right. This is part of what I came out for. Go for it, girl. Do it. The right one, you said, right? Yep. Yep. The far right head. She very tentatively nervously <laughs> slowly she looks back at you give her a thumbs up you're doing it's great. okay it's okay you're doing okay. awesome you're gonna be fine right maybe she should use my left uh, hand yeah. i'm gonna use my left hand no 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 i'm right-handed it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> roll persuasion before, before she before she does this i'm gonna cast protection from poison on her because it seems like a poisony kind of place. Oh, cool. That's a, okay. Uh, fourteen. Let's see what protection from poison does. Um, uh, lasts an hour and protects them from poison. Okay, I'll. Advantage. Okay, I'll pull it. You think right hand? You think? I think right hand. Yeah, it looks like. Okay. 
Is the right hand on the thing? She flips her staff back into her left hand. She's got a grip on the lever. Oh. She withdraws her hand. See, that wasn't so bad. That was great. You did great. You we did be it. Very proud of yourself. Nothing happened, though. Um, that is a good point. Did the lever move? Well, we did. I, I pulled it. it happened yet? Nothing well, happening is probably good. Yeah, let's it was get really hard to the... pull. It was as hard as I could pull it. Okay. Maybe it's just old. So, so I pull the next one now. She like runs over to the. Oh no no! Hold on a second. Hold up! Hold up! Okay. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, I'm gonna Let's set go it. On. I'm gonna set it to noon. noon. So to the sun, sun fully raised. Okay, now you can try the left hand one. The left one. Left yep. one. Far use left. left Should I use my left hand? Left hand. Okay. We'll do left hand. A little more confident this time. Uh, grabs the lever, sort of looks around. <laughs> withdraws her hand. Okay. No problem. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll Everybody's doing one. great. I'll pull all the levers. Don't don't do that yet. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. The night now. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna set the sundial to the moon. <laughs> Which one of these two do I pull? Pull them oh, you're both. Gonna, you're gonna pull both at the same time. Well, so I don't think she can reach both, right? She can reach both. Oh, okay. I thought they were. They're they're yeah. somewhat next to each other, but they're sort of deep. Okay. In the gullet. You got this. You rotate it tonight. <laughs> Okay. Do it now? Yep, both simultaneously at the same Pull time. Pull away! Pull away! <sighs> We're gonna. Three for three, okay. Both of them. Okay, and nothing has happened? She's reaching in. <laughs> she, like. Withdraws her hands out as quickly as she can, sort of scrapes her arms against the the serpent's teeth, the door of the temple. Just rustles and shakes. Uh, here. As the final levers are pulled, the temple before you shudders. The great stone door before you grinds its borders against the temple's walls and begins to descend slowly. And as it does, you hear a nearby shriek from the swamp. It's you hear like it's a bunch Thalfie. of clicking and shrieking. It's not Thalfi. <laughs> <laughs> There, it's not it's, talking about his nipples, so... This yeah. is my swamp! <laughs> Raleigh, like, reels around and grabs her staff with both hands. The door just continues to descend. She sort of looks around carefully. Uh, does it sound like a person that screamed or like an animal? Uh, roll nature. I feel like that's something we can assist it. Ooh, it's a four. You, on, do you, are on, you trained? Let me see. <laughs> I am. I can, I, I can, oh, I, I, I'll, I'll assist. Do you want to roll your own die or give her a second? Oh, roll your own. <laughs> well, I guess I will roll Probably my gonna own. Probably going to be more helpful if you just, yeah. Actually, strangely, I am not. A ranger not proficient in nature. That's a 19. Right. Um, it does not sound like a human. Uh, it sounds like lizard folk. Okay, <sighs> guys. Looks like we uh, may have uh, angered the natives. All right. 
Well, tieflings know I'm not racist, but lizard folk, oh my god. <laughs> this is the one time that I'm going to agree with you. <laughs> I don't like all lizard folk. Lizard folk are unacceptable. I think at the very <laughs> least we should group up while this door takes ten damn years to open. Sure. Yeah. Better, uh, better to use the temple to, you know, cover. Yeah, but uh, what if something comes out of the temple doors? Well, then we'll deal with it when it comes out. Then we'll still be clustered together either way. Do Cora hey, and Lost, want to do join you us? still have your ability to cast vines from your staff? Perhaps creating oh, yes, a I do want hinge to point would be helpful to us. Let's see, are they plus anything? Would not. Cora, get over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Lari. Why? She got a real bad initiative. Oh no. <laughs> she got a one. She got a one. Uh, um, sure, and I actually will go ahead and cast Entangle. Okay. Which Where is would you like to cast Entangle? Uh, da -da -da. Can I draw this? Oh, not like that. Should be able to. Why is it? It goes based on the orientation of your camera, not ah. like the grid orientation, because that would make too much sense. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so. Fuck, I'm still off, but whatever. Theoretically, like like that kind of. <laughs> should Centered just use the. the it's just use the drawing. Yeah. Uh, uh, Da, 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 da. Da, da. Shut up, Tim. Yeah, I think it's I can't, less straight. I somehow. can't draw. <laughs> there we go. Is it it's twenty? It's foot a twenty square? foot square. Yeah. Okay. Eh, good enough. What if they come from the side? Well, so then I guess reaching. you got you and Narada will just have to deal with it then. Reaching within okay. yourself, you conjure up the entangle. Of course, those fall through the table. As they descend from the heavens. They fall out of the sky. <laughs> Just jumping down from the trees. Oh That's no, they brought live them. alligators. <laughs> this is actually pretty dope. I've never fought an alligator. Well, How do you know it's an alligator and not a crocodile? You're in a swamp. Exactly. Uh, let's see. Ooh, this boy's fancy. <laughs> I bet you he has mean stuff on him. Ooh, that's a low oh shit. That's a. <laughs> let's see. What's a Lari's speed initiative? At least it's plus two. Oh god, Narada. Literally is Yeah, zero. I was like, you were making fun of Alari, and I was like, well... <laughs> I don't know that it can be zero, but I guess it doesn't matter. If you're minus one, it can be zero. <laughs> is it? I thought it would still be one, but I guess it doesn't really matter. No, it's zero. Um, she's got a plus two. At... My God, It'll never line up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the door is most of the way down by the time you actually see the lizard folk. We can take them. They definitely have two alligators with them. Chance. Top of the round. Uh, uh. Just run away. Just walk away. <laughs> Give us the oil.
Seems like a good time for some AoE chance. I know, but see... I'm a real good AoE is poison. And I have a really sneaking suspicion that lizard folk <laughs> don't take a lot of damage from poison. Because they live in a place where there's lots of poison. They're underhanded. They probably spend a lot of time with poison. You know, I wouldn't trust them. They're sneaky. But I also feel like they're going to be slippery boys. But, alright. I'm going to try my best. And I'm going to cast a... Radius 40 foot high. Okay. I also, as you cast, did you want to use. Um, yes. Yes, I did. Magic Surge. Alright. So I you remember that? It's Tides of Chaos. Yeah, Tides of Chaos. Perfect. Okay. And then. Yeah, so then centered on these guys here, like... Is it a 20 foot radius? Yeah. It's centered where? Like, I'm trying to do it right. Just point to where it's centered. Okay. That's the easiest way. Or like right. Yes, right there. Exactly. Center is on this point. Yeah. Here ish. That is enormous. It's a twenty foot radius, which is quite large. Oh, right, yeah, it's radius. I keep on forgetting about that. That's such a crazy Yeah, that's like, like that. Level. What spell is this? Uh, this is Ice Storm. Oh, okay. So. Just. Shards of ice pelt down. Let's see, what will Tides of Chaos do for that? Uh, da -da. Gain advantage. Yeah, but it's not on attacks, so technically nothing for this one, really. Yeah, so you wouldn't do Tides of Chaos here. Yeah, okay. I just want to hit it with it. Let me look at Ice Storm. Oh, yeah, it's a uh, deck save from them. 17. There are so many targets. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, and then do we still want to do the Flames of Chaos one? Uh, I'm gonna say we were doing that wrong, and it should be when you you when you do the reaction action okay. thing. Okay. Okay. So it's a dex save, and it's two d eight bludgeoning and forty six cold on a failed save, or half as much. So we'll just go left to right. There are how many? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, five Don't forget, nine. Chance. Sometimes the tides of chaos can can help. Cryptic reminders. <laughs> Interesting damage roll. My, how the turntables. <laughs> yes, indeed. Wow, 133 damage, pretty good. <laughs> uh, and they're all obliterated. <laughs> it's a dex save, right? Yeah. Okay, so this first I, alligator saves. What's the DC? 17? Yep. Full alligator. I just got very lucky. So it saves, so it takes half that, right? Which is Correct. 10. Yep. Uh, that's a fail. Oops. Success. Barely. 
Bail. This alligator, pelted by the ice shards, lays on the ground dead. Let's see, that was one, two, three, four, five. That's a fail. Fail. Oh. Everyone fails except for a third from the last, which makes sense. <laughs> All right. And this peaceful tribe of lizard men. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. They screech out as they're slammed with ice. I mean, there are well, branching they weapons. They yelled but near us, so they should... really. <laughs> it deserves a death and. <laughs> right. <laughs> All it's right. Lizard men, so. Do you want to move? Uh, yes, yes, I do because I happen to be too close to the front as usual. <laughs> what if somebody comes out the door? Bite you, you know on the butt. Yeah, I'm still gonna hide behind Cora. Wow, what a <laughs> that's, that's great. You're like crouching down in the tiny little. Yeah, Who, whose oh. turn it is now? <laughs> She's like, I hide behind Chance. Fuck you. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need to hide. Let's do it. I'm gonna use a bonus action to hide behind Chance. Uh, yeah, you can sort of, you could like duck under this statue. Well, I can hide behind larger creatures than me. Yeah, I mean, but either of those would hide you. I would say in this case, sure. Uh, roll stealth to hide. Plus eight. Um, you don't Four. feel super hidden. Oh, but you're not I'm sure. Maybe they don't see you. Shoot the big guy in the head. The, the big guy. third from the last. The guy who's different this guy? and saved on the ice, yeah. Well, okay. what do we... So they all look the same except for that one? I guess it Yeah, this one has kind of man. like a headdress um, and seems to be sort of behind everyone can't really tell much more than that. Yes, I will hit the land the head guy. Okay, you can barely see him. I'm gonna say he has three quarters cover because he's behind two Doesn't other targets. Matter. Oh, that's true. You're a sharpshooter, right? Would you like yeah, to do your sharpshooter thing? Five. Yeah. All right, roll the hit. Um, so I guess I get to attack twice on this middle two. You're doing sharpshooter on both, yeah? Oof. Yeah. That you can reroll that second roll. Yeah. First one does not hit. There we go. Plus five? Uh, so no, 18. Plus six. Plus six. 19, 19 will hit. Um, so it's 10 damage plus Your another second arrow finds five its mark. damage. So 15 and then... Because it was my second arrow, I guess we can say that I'm no longer stealth, so I don't get the stealth bonus. That's um, right. So, I'm going to say uh, 15 plus a d8. <sighs> 17 damage. 17 damage. Ah! Sort of reels around, starts clicking. Do you want to move more, or are you done? No, I'm, I'm done. I guess All I right. can't really do any Heidi stuff now. I've done it already, so. Lost. Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's see. Uh, sweet. Um, I'm going to do... Uh, yeah. I'm gonna cast Erupting Earth. Right in the middle right, of these. Right suckers. in the middle of these guys. What's it's the range? It's a twenty foot cube again. Okay. It's already very rough terrain there, so it can't really get any rougher. That's fine. I'm, um yeah, but it will can't. hit all of them. It's <laughs> a deck save? Hard. It is a deck save. A fifteen. No, it's not concentration. It is not. It is instantaneous. Yeah. What is 
3d12. Uh, save. Doofers. Not good. Yeah. Oh, is that alligator still up? I think it is. Yeah! Haha. -ha. <laughs> the earth underneath the enemy fight. erupts, slamming into them, splattering the freshly made ice, and bits of the swamp everywhere. Um. Save, save. All right. Well, Gwen, unless you want to move, Lost. Oh, I'm going to stay right where I am. Okay, I would like to hide behind Nerida. Actually, that's going to kill... Oh, no, it's not. No, well, all right, roll stealth. Here, let's all hide behind Chance. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no. <laughs> All right, Yeah. That one's dead. That is a. Oh, that's a 10. You don't feel very hidden. Okay, well, I'm still going to shoot at. at rolls. These uh, rolls are bad. Yeah. I'm going to shoot at the guy with the headdress, wherever he is back there. Before. This guy saves. And is alive. Dead. Now remember, when you're focusing Dead. your arrows, just pay attention Dead. to your target. Breathe out and loose. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. We had said I trained you in kind of arrow shooting while you were true, shooting true. me in stealth. It was not meant to be a... That's a fail. <laughs> <laughs> um, my... Sorry, which one are you... Hitting? Uh, the guy with the headdress, if he's still up. All right, roll a hit. What to hit? Why can I find that? Oh, here it is. Um, plus seven, so that is. Sixteen. Sixteen. That will just barely hit. Sweet. Go ahead and roll damage. And it's just gonna be the one d six plus three, so seven. Seven damage. Ooh, so the arrow <laughs> sticks into his shoulder. <laughs> Is that what your stealth hits? Your um, your, your... She's not I'm in not stealth. I'm not hidden, so tragically. Oh. Okay. Any other movement? Uh, no, I'm just going to hang out where I am. All right, that brings us to Alec. All right, so in the spirit of AoE time, two. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. So the swamp is rough terrain, and this area is very rough terrain. <laughs> am I actually in the swamp? I, I went oh, yeah. on this stuff, and then so I landed right here. No. All of the only these like grass platforms are stable ground and the tower and stuff. This stuff okay, is just so murky swamp garbage. Am I able to move right where I am right now? Yes. And how many movements? So that make? that's ten to move there and then that's thirty to move here total. Okay, so they good, that's where I wanna go. So Okay. okay. And then I am casting Flame strike. Oh God, really? <laughs> right. Well, that's going to kill yeah. everything, I'm sure. Well, it, it's, I don't think it's going to... It's a 10-foot radius, so it might not hit him. Wait, where are you casting it? Right here. It says choose a, a space. So I don't know if it... On a location you specify, it's not like a point. I think it a location could be a point. Um, okay, then I'd cast it there. The 10-foot radius. I mean, it's going to hit everybody. Right? I is it a dex save? I don't think it would hit that. It is a dex save, yeah. I don't think it would hit what? I don't that's think a tree. It's hit that. That's okay. That, that's a tree. That's a tree stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
Well, I wanted to burn down the tree, but I guess. <laughs> it's okay, oh, which I know. As a dwarf, your eyesight isn't great, and you can't see that far. <laughs> but let me tell you, that's a tree. <clears throat> Let's just roll all these dice for no big reason. That's actually not insane. Lots of ones, but also a few sixes. It's like pretty uh, average. So it's... Let's see, 11, 14, 15 points of fire damage and 11 points of radiant damage, unless they save, in which case they take half of that. Well, that's dead. That's uh, dead. My DC is 14. That's dead. That's dead. 15. And that's dead. <laughs> Hooray! I cast my Raga. That harmless band of lizard folk who were <laughs> coming to give you presents was quickly obliterated. <laughs> Raleigh's just kind of is like, presents. What? That's what your pain is for. Well, we might as well go inside now. The stone door slips into place at the base. Um, you don't want to search their bodies, loot the corpses. I mean, I want to get that guy's headdress. Yeah, <laughs> we are such horrible people. <laughs> um, Hell, man. Fine, go ahead. But I need one of the two of you, or probably, honestly, probably Wilgwin, to, to uh, check for Sneak traps a boot. before we walk into this stupid place. <laughs> well, I'm hurt that you don't trust me. I understand why you would choose her. I mean, honestly, well, there, I don't know that I'm this. Well, I might be. There are there there were reasons why I made that suggestion, Cora. But you are also welcome to check for traps, since we clearly miss them every single time um, they're they're present until we trip them. Sorry, I was so muted. I, I just... have the fine trap spell now. So... Oh, never mind then. G <laughs> ladies, You're go have useless. fun. Go have fun <laughs> robbing corpses. Nerida, can you can you find <laughs> check make sure we there's no nothing unpleasant waiting for us when we walk in this doorway? Certainly, and I cast fine traps. Alright. You look at find traps. We do some tinkering with it. It's like 120 feet, and it was supposed to be line of sight, but you decided it was everything in 120 it's like, feet or so. No, it was. I think I reduced the range to like either 30 or 60 feet, but it doesn't require line of sight, which just makes more sense. Yeah. 120 feet is fucking crazy. That's like an entire cavern. Um, okay, so you cast fine traps. Um. Oh, also roll wisdom to make sure you can cast it. And I forgot to do that, Alec, with your flame strike as well, although it's a little too late now. And also, you guys murdered everything. Uh, here, I'll roll wisdom for you. I want to go see it. if they have You definitely would have been able to cast it. Yes, you can cast fine traps. Uh, it's, it is a bit of a struggle to reach out to Umberly, but you manage it. Um, you don't sense anything. You feel a bit uneasy, but you don't sense any traps. I will communicate that to Lost. <laughs> and uh, the halflings are going to Go. loot corpses. Loot yeah, corpses. I'm just gonna rummage around see if there's anything fun in there. Did they get? Are they? Did they? Were they actually bringing us presents? There's like little wisps of flame over the bog from the flame strike. Um, the whole ground is just like lifted out there's water pouring out like lots of little frogs and toads are hopping out of the area uh, newts they're like removed from their hovels everything in the area it is looks just like we have provisions scorched. for the next week and i'll just start <laughs> gathering some of the food from yeah, the dead creatures oh great i love if you want to uh, spend time preparing it Lizard yeah Please describe to me the smell we are getting right now. I mean, as bad as the swamp smelled after igniting, like, the gases in a few local peat rocks, it's, like, just sulfurous and terrible. There's this sort of cloud 
dark cloud that's sort of lifting away from the area. Chance and lost, does it remind you of home? Oh my god. <laughs> I was nice. I was waiting for that, but I also feared it, because no. <laughs> we were born we were both raised in normal normal homes theoretically i, I mean it was a know. circus but yeah yeah i mean, mean like so normal for a tiefling right you guys were just in my childhood home like a few weeks ago okay lost just in a glade to light this whole place on fire like there has to be gas nature. around here <laughs> they're a little like little swells within the swamp that like burst flame out see see we could kill them all <laughs> all of the corpses are are thoroughly destroyed by that onslaught Aww. there is nothing left of any value that you can discern if you want to root around you maybe you'll find something it'll take some time to dig through all the muck mm, we're at the gate of a, a temple that's hypothetically full of treasure anyway and I would rather not get my nail beds dirty so I'll just return. Wearing gloves. You're wearing gloves. I don't want to get my gloves dirty. Also I forget that I'm wearing them sometimes because I can see my hands through them. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Fair enough. I was going to say, you can't even see them. Well, yeah, what would happen if you dug through the muck? They would just they would sit like a half inch above your hands. You have <laughs> yeah, your hands would just look slightly larger. It'd be really just a weird. a weird, gross yeah. Yeah, Are the gloves aren't hydrophobic. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, there we go. So it just kind of slumps off. Yeah. I mean, they're not like Teflon. They just yeah. don't get soaked. Still don't want to touch all that mud, so. All right, Corey, I think we're going to have better luck inside than out here. Yes, yeah, so I think we both just uh, were interested in that headdress, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it survived. Oh, Our dwarven good. friend, as usual, uh, had more might than finesse. Well, that's okay. We'll probably murder another gang of innocents later, and we can take their headdress. Hey, hey, they had you, weapons. You guys are weird. Yeah, ign ignore them. I think we've been so, in the swamp a little too long. In the wild, long. it's uh, kill or be killed, and sometimes you just have to strike first to make sure you're not the ones on the uh, poor end. I True. could definitely see that. Well, shall we go inside and see what's happening in there? It's yeah, Nerida, dark in there. Nerida said that she didn't uh, detect anything, but uh, we should still be cautious. I still feel a bit uneasy about the play. Yeah. Um, Does anyone is... um, have a torch or or light spell? Well, I have a torch. Dark. I can see in the dark, but I have a it mutes candle. a lot of the details, as you know. I've, I've got a torch. Um, I have a, a lantern and a candle. Can I light that? And... Uh, yeah, you can light your lantern. Cool. I'm gonna Sorry, I have daylight. I keep forgetting it's muted. It's okay. Uh, yeah, daylight's kind of like a high level very spell. Bright. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a very high level spell and it's very bright, but I do have it. But we should probably save it for when we're fighting things. Yeah, I, I wouldn't worry about that. Thanks, Nerida. We have a lot of dark vision. Okay, you light up torches and stuff and head inside. Who's going in first? Oh, for some reason I have ten torches, according to my character sheet. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> most most packs come with like ten torches. I also okay. have a lot of torches. Um, uh, I guess, I guess I'll go in first. I want to be pretty close behind him, and I want to drag chance or uh, drag chance along with me. Okay. Grab him by the arm. Come on, we're going. <laughs> Is fine no. traps concentration, does that last for a certain amount of time? No. Okay. One and done. Cool. But there then, weren't any in the area, so we don't have to worry about it. I know. Just, like I said, be cautious. All right. Let's head inside. Oh, let's. Hopefully this works. I didn't... Thoroughly test this. Should be okay. Why do you keep on coming back? Huh? Hmm, kitty? Shit! Yeah. <laughs> T 
to delete anything you guys have. We can get rid of this stuff, right? Okay, let's see if this works. You can only see this, right? Correct. Great. Uh, so, Lost lights some torches, steps over the precipice. I mean, I can see everything, but I think that's kind of unavoidable. And I'll try not to. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Forgot. Um, before you is a large stone hall, likely for gatherings of worshippers. A few colorful stone benches lie in ruin on the floor, and some errant bones are scattered about. At the far end of the hall looms a foreboding serpent of carved stone bearing enormous fangs. Though whether it smiles or bears its teeth in aggression, you're unsure. It peers out over a simple circular stone structure. Just inside the doorway appears to be a large lever of some sort that traverses its groove vertically. Another simpler lever rests near the serpent the far end. There are a few braziers, and there seems to be some sort of stone tablet or etching at the front side of this circular piece. There are also a few bones scattered about. Uh, I suppose I want to light... The door is down. Really? Oh, the cat is cute. Oops. It's not the way. Revealing I, this area to the swamp outside. I want to light one of the braziers. I'll go with the left brazier as I enter in. It doesn't light contain it any fuel. <sighs> Good thing I'm magic. Um, <laughs> but maybe we'll, I'll inspect a little bit more before setting fire to things. I'm growing as a peer, as a person. <laughs> you said there was a lever next to the fountain, and then what was the other lever? There's another lever next to the door. Okay. Sorry, let me put that in there. Okay, got it. What's like our hire's name? What's our uh, a Raleigh? A Raleigh. A Raleigh. Uh, do you have any further information about uh, what we're finding, what we're seeing here? Um, she's flipping through pages of her journal. Hmm. Not much is known about the inside. I, I couldn't really find a lot of information about what's in here. Sorry, guys. No one's ever really returned from getting this far. As far as I can tell, it's kind of spooky. Cool. Oh, it's very spooky. <laughs> Pick up your pitons, Wilgwyn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I go read the the um, like plaque thing in front of the statue? Yes. Cool. There is an inscription at the base of what you assume is maybe a shrine or place of worship. Atop it, at the very top, it says Polos, the kind and beneficent. Underneath, there's a smaller inscription that reads, commit to beneficence and diligence in all that you do, and Polos will smile upon you. The key to wisdom will be granted to the noblest among you. Those with the key shan't fear the serpent's bite. Hmm. Score. Well, good thing we've got the key. Yeah, but do you think that they mean the key key, or do you think they mean the key to wisdom, which will be granted to the noblest among us? Because in that case, I don't feel I should be near the statue, and I think the leak should be closer to the statue. <laughs> well, do we know, I mean, like, can we tell anything about the statue? Is there anything would in its mouth? like to examine it? Carefully. I would like to. I don't know where my character is, and my to my character token is anymore. It's vanished. Oh, really? Yeah. Strangely enough, yes. He put you on the side. I don't know where you went. 
I know, I've I've disappeared. You see that one? Hey, look, there I am. Is anyone else missing? Everyone oh, should be here. I don't think I see myself either. I think it's like you went in a hidden zone and so it screws everything up. Uh, yeah, I Do don't we see, see chance. I don't see Narada or Alec either. Yeah, Korra. Hidden zones are weird well, in this Gwen. game. <laughs> yeah, I think that's everybody. They're useful as hell sometimes, but then the rest of the time. From this angle, the serpent statue looks like a poop. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'd like to uh, inspect the serpent statue. All right, roll investigation. Climb. You have to climb up on the ledge here. Alari is missing, by the that way. That sucks. Okay. That's just a plus one, so it's only ten. All right, it's definitely made of stone. The mouth is wide, um, and as you here inside it's it's dark in there you think maybe there's a groove of some kind it's a little hard to see um hmm. from outside you hear more shrieks and cackling clicking uh, great uh anyone want to hit open, take right? care of the switch yeah <laughs> yeah anyone want to hit the lever and see if it shuts the door All right, Chance, you grab hold of the lever. Ugh, it's hard to move. Roll athletics. <laughs> if you be fail, I'll go help. <laughs> <laughs> Derisively. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, no. <laughs> it's doing some really bad... Nine. Bad <laughs> you click it up. Nothing happens. Take it all the way up? I think I did. <laughs> the door moves slightly. Can I give it a test? Good. Let's make sure it is up. You push it up further, it's as far up as it'll go. Jeez, Alik, I'm a little bit strong sometimes. Well, we better hurry with this snake statue. Yeah, Who's hey, Arali, can I, can I see that key? Um... I'd rather I hold on to it. What okay, well, you... I think, I, I, given given what we've got on the inscription here, and I think there's a groove of some sort inside of this uh, lizard statue. Um, oh, let me take I, a look. Yeah, it might be worth uh, seeing if uh, there's a slot for that key, finally. Oh, boy. <sighs> I can't tell. It's kind of far. <clears throat> she, like, slips and falls into this little area that looks like a dried up fountain stumbles a bit oh, like grabs the teeth as she's falling oh. you okay the screams are getting closer uh, the door only moved a little bit it didn't do anything else right yep uh, can we move these stone benches in front of the door or are they there they're not nailed down, <laughs> but they're solid stones. They're very, very heavy. As you go, if you go and try to like lift one of them, oh, I'm ow. very strong. Can I pull so the lever down now? <laughs> uh, roll athletics. Yeah, Narada, would you like to help me move one of these stone slabs and block our door? Barricade ourselves in here. Oh, Jesus, the six. You, f uh, with yeah, some sure, effort, flip the lever you. back down. Ugh. Uh, someone wants to roll for me to so try to help leak the benches. I got a six stone plus six. All right, so twelve. I have a proficiency in athletics and four for strength bonus. Oh my god! So that's what plus eight, sixteen. Uh, I think yeah, so. Yeah. Sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> Even both of you together, you start lifting it and it starts crumbling a bit. You lose your grip on it. It's dusty. Um, you also notice that the air in here smells a bit sour for some reason. Maybe it's just old, old tomb smell. Who knows? 
But you flip the lever back down, Chance, and the door moves slightly. The screams are, are nearly outside. All right, I'm going to go up to the door, and can I cast Stone Shape to just make it wall off? Roll Wisdom check to see if you can reach out to Helm. Eight plus some. Okay, you can. Three. Are you casting it okay. on the door? Uh, I would like to close the gap somehow. Um, can you be I more specific? So I would like to, um, I don't know, shape the door up into an actual door. Okay, the door okay. itself. Yeah, basically, like, can I shape the door up over itself to like actually close? As you cast the spell, or, you reach out to Helm and you attempt to mold the door as you would any normal stone. It's just not working. It's resisting it in some way. Can I like pivot to like molding the wall to- just... You would have to recast the spell. Can I uh, inspect these braziers? Is there anything special about them? Anything? They're just clean, well, clean as you would expect to find in an abandoned temple, metal braziers. There's nothing inside of them. You're the cry of, of the acute doors? bab. Are they <laughs> secured as well? You think you might be able to lift them? Did anyone want to try to pull this lever again? Or Raleigh's going to take another crack at inspecting the snake statue. Oh, we could try After this other level lever, but I don't know. Tripping what and that falling. Would do. I'll try the lever by the door again. Okay, roll shot. athletics. Cool. Waiting for Wellman to do a better job than Chance. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. It's got it'd plus be funny if I could do it. Oh, Raleigh's looking into the the snake's mouth here. I think maybe it's very hard to see in there. If there is something, it's very shallow. Well, that's a seven, so... <laughs> you wrench the lever Anyone into the up position. <laughs> All right. Just oh, under like halfway it. closed. So I guess I'll just I'll pump it, it. Go with a big old strong... Yeah, I'm going to try to pump All right. It. Roll athletics. Oh, I want to try. Everyone else got to try. It's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> big you can, if you're uh, proficient, oh, you can go. assist. Sure. Yeah, after point, after point. watching <laughs> Chance and just struggling with this lever, Alec throws his shield and hammer aside. Get out of the way! <laughs> just slams the lever back and forth with incredible speed. <laughs> and the door slams up into like position. A carnival prize, only without dying. It was virtually effortless. Uh, you definitely sense that, like, you know, the lever is hard to move, but you're more than strong enough to pump it into position quickly. That's, uh, that's it a took mechanic I've never seen. <laughs> took four more uh, switches to get the door fully into place. Okay. Huh. Well, what about that lever there? What's that? Yeah. That's uh, that's what I've been asking. Uh, that's what I've been thinking. Um, I mean, I can try it. Well, perhaps we should give you probably sh some light first. Well, sh she has light. We all have light. I can I can sort of see. Um, she says she can't see in the mouth. It's dark. It's she has weird dark and smooth in there. The tiefling, right? Yeah, she yes. Does. But dark vision is black and white, and the details are a bit fuzzy. Oh. So one of our torch-bearing companions could give her a hand. I, I'll give have... her my lantern if she wants to use that. Yeah. Oh, my lantern. I mean, I have a torch. I'm right next to her, but... All right. Here, give me your torch. Okay. I will hand my torch to her. She hops back up on... Like, uh, the snake statue thing, it's, it's kind of high up and... It's in an awkward place. I'll try. Alik, lend her your strength. To 
do what? I want you to get down on your knees and boost. let her stand on you. Yeah. yeah. Looking around and it's like that's the angle is awkward. I don't okay. know. H hop down, Raleigh. Let's let's see what this what this lever does. Okay. And I'll and I'll try the lever. All right. The lever switches into place, no problem. And well, let me see if I can do this. Aww. And some things happen. We all die. <laughs> the rocks spiders. fall. Spiders, spiders everywhere. It fills oh, with poisonous on. gas. Poisonous spider gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh come me. on, let me oh, do is this. Is that worse than the swamp we just uh, exploded? Only marginally. All right, one second. I can't right-click this thing. Oh, hey, it's okay, well. I forgive you. I don't. Of course, they're not locked should, either. A, a piece of the wall from. falls off. <laughs> they're all going to fall. It becomes a teeny little golem. These... Patches in the wall that you're just now noticing seem to open. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna walk over to the hatch, which is hatch this one, I guess. The hatches in the other side also open. Yeah, really that's full, of the other <laughs> full of bees. Full of bees. Full of bees. Gonna walk towards the other ones. Yeah, Can I? Hang on. Let Once me you're do done, this. can I peer into the hatch? Give you a moment, Gregory. Do you look into the abyss the as you go crazy? You. It stares yeah. back. Ah, come on. Okay, of course. No. That way, that way. Oh my God. Sorry, these were not easy to do. That's okay, we only blame you completely. <laughs> oh, it's terrific. Thank you for trying to <laughs> sure. put all these details and things in. It's really awesome that it has such level of focus and illustration for us. These hatches all open. Lost, you sort of rush over and peer into one. Snake and it, it's not going to go well for you. <laughs> nice. Oh boy, is it not going to go well for you. Uh-oh. That, uh-oh. That's fine. Snake in the face. No, it's probably something much worse. I'm sure it's something worse. Something's in there. It snaps out and latches onto your face. Uh -oh. Make a Snake constitution <laughs> saving throw. Tentaclita. Well, the good news is I, for some reason, gave myself con. Take six piercing damage. Um, uh, that's a 16. All right. Take six piercing damage. You feel venom coursing into your face. It feels very bad, but you're able to shake it off. Nice. And we'll roll combat. With the window spiders. I mean, window snakes. Yeah. What's with all these MFing snakes and these MFing temples? Um, mean, this is the snake. snake this snake is the temple? serpent. The serpent bite <laughs> temple. I think the name is kind of a, a oh. clue. I no. am shocked. As you pull back this rather large venomous snake pours out of the recently opened hatch. And one here. Oh boy. Oh, big snake. The word snake and one and here. does not belong in the same sentence. Yeah. <laughs> Love me some snakes. I'm going to turn into a snake and hide amongst them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Gwen. Um, okay, I'm going to shoot at the snake that is, well, actually, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to hide. Boop, boop. Behind. Trans as oh. usual. Need to roll for a Raleigh, actually. She is first. Sorry. All right. She got oh. a 20. Okay. Jesus. 
Awesome. She got a one last time, so. Yeah, it's true. The game hates me today. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I mean, you're only barely last, but you are last. It's true. <laughs> You're only barely last. That's like Jesus. I am very last. Oh no, well, slightly less last. If it's any uh, consolation, I think I got a one because my bonus is plus three. Now your bonus is plus four, and you got a five. It looks like. Oh, I see. I see. On the other side. All right. Yeah, a Raleigh is first. It's like, oh my god, and she. <laughs> Does a cool thing, maybe. Hmm. Yes, for a snake adventure. You know what? Let's see. Let's see how amazing she is. Amazing? Or are you a bitch? You're a bitch. Okay. <laughs> What does this do? Alright. She runs over here. And holds out her hands and this dazzling array of flashing colored lights springs forth from her hands. She's Jubilee. Yeah, she's Jubilee. Except cool. Hey man. No, all we need is some Pink Floyd. Except useful. Oh, the D10s never settle, do they? There we go. Even gonna be good enough. Yeah. And this snake starts sort of like slithering about strangely, whipping its head around. but it seems to focus in on her. Uh, that brings us to Welgwyn. All right, um, I'm gonna hide behind Chance. <laughs> try to. A super snake. Where, relative? Um, like between <laughs> him and the wall, kind of on the opposite side of the snake. Uh, okay. Uh, where did he go? Oh, yeah, so you're like pretty right hidden. Kind of right cool. Um, from this then, snake, but not from, from these snakes. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to shoot at the snake with my crossbow. Uh, with your short bow? Yeah, uh, yes, that is what I meant okay. to say. I don't have a crossbow, so. <laughs> Just making sure. Oh, you and uh, that's with advantage, right? Since I'm hidden? Oh, well. Yes. That you're unseen, so you can fire with advantage. Cool. I, got, I rolled an 18. And I can roll another one, but I assume that that. You might crit. That's a good point. Okay. Nope. Oh, still hits. So cool. Go ahead and roll damage. As the snake slithers out of the hole, you sort of dodge behind chance. Uh, it's 18. Okay. 18 points of piercing damage. So your arrow hits the snake. It like wriggles around, it hisses. Feels bad, but it's still going. Mm. You wanna right. move? No, I'll stay where I am. Okay. Lost. Um I am going to summon some animals. Alright. We're doing wolves? No. Just because I need to keep you on your toes. <laughs> um, and uh, you know what? He might not this. have a cool mini. No, Snake. it's going to be... Snakes uh, versus snakes. It's a uh, <laughs> sw swarm of rats is what I'm actually going to do. Uh, snake on snake action. <laughs> snake on snake. Rats. Oh. Those, those uh, snakes are going to be critically effective, right? 
think rats and, might be uh, critically effective against snakes. And and I'm gonna summon sixteen of them by doing this at fifth level. You can't summon, oh, summon boy. mongooses. You just summon mongooses. Yeah, mongooses. There you go. <laughs> Mon- mongooses are not an option. Mo- Mongrosses. <laughs> Where do you want your 16 swarms of rats? Just, so they can, because they're swarms, they can actually occupy the same square as the snakes themselves. That's true. Um, but uh, I want to say so, they have to move into that, though. Okay. Can they all like, occupy the same square? No. Can it be a mega swarm? It's a, yeah, so it's the rat king. Uh, I, I summon a rat king uh, <laughs> of sorts. Um, and then uh, don't forget to, to give some love to this guy over on uh, the side. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, <laughs> twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Perfect. That good? Okay. The room is just filled with chittering and squeaking, and the ground starts to move under your feet as the rat swarms <laughs> uh, apparate. And just start scurrying about, rolling initiative for them. Oh, nice horns, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Finally found a useful filter. <laughs> yeah. They're oh, real fast, you see. They're hella fast. <laughs> uh, they're probably not before Raleigh. What's their bonus? Swarm of rats. They, uh, Yeah, their dex bonus is zero. So, yeah. Let's do rat attack. Rat attack. Okay. <laughs> Horrifying. Uh, would you like to move? <laughs> uh. Yeah. I'll risk. I'll risk the AO, but I'm gonna move here. It will take an attack of opportunity on you. Yeah. Eight to hit? That will not. Yeah, it does not. Uh, you hear it like snap behind you as you dodge over the pile of rats that you just summoned. And that's it, obviously. Okay, chance. All right. Then. Out of pure fear of a snake coming out of the wall, and then a bunch of rats coming out of nowhere. <laughs> um, I want to. If I attack this one with Scorching Ray, will that be a disadvantage? Cause I'm so yes, because it's a ranged spell attack. Yeah, damn it. Okay, if it's a I'll... melee spell attack, then you're good. I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it with um, Tides of Chaos, so that I'll just do it normal. Okay. Without moving, you yeah. conjure forth three gouts of flame. Roll to hit. One is hurt, right? Yes. It's uh, 11, 19, and 14. Uh, 19 and 14 hit. So two, your last two. Boop, boop. Ooh, that's some good damage. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Scorching rays sear into the snack. Will that kill it? Oh, nope. Ah. It's hanging on by a thread. You've burned many of the scales right off it, exposing horrible pink flesh underneath. Did it help the smell in the room at all? Smells no. good eating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that brings us to snacks. This snack is mad about tieflings. <laughs> For good reason. But he snaps at you, and you easily dodge out of the way. This oh, snack is also mad about tieflings. <laughs> I'm gonna defend Lost. Uh, 
you're too far away. No, from nothing's lost. attacking Lost currently. Okay. It's attacking Arali. And that's going to hit her. She needs a oh, con save. She saves. So she takes. Seven piercing damage. Ooh, she's hurt. Ah! This snack slithers. Uh, it's Do all my rats get AO when it moves. Gonna go for core. It hasn't actually moved out of melee with any of your rat swarms. Yeah, they have zero foot melee range, so. Oh, they have to actually be on their target so they mm -hmm. can't go. That's going to hit Korra. Make a con saving throw. That's an interesting fact. Oh, yeah. Wait, which one's hitting feet. Korra and how? Sure this one oh, is hitting Korra because it's right next yeah, to her? Yeah, I can't see that one. Oh, okay, I can sorry. two of them. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> sorry if that was confusing. That's Take eight points of piercing damage. I'm special. So there are three snakes, right? That there are three snakes. 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 What's that on the con save? Uh, hang on. Uh, do, do I think I get uh, advantage on con saves? I thought so damage. too against poison. Yeah, which this is. I think it depends on the type of half. Yeah, it should I'm actually be advantage on poison rolls. Now is that? Well, it is poison damage. Oh That's my the god! Same, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, I think you did get resistance to poison damage. That might be a dwarf thing, but you should check. Yeah. You feel the venom coursing through you. Fortunately, it's particularly weak, and this snake hasn't had time to produce enough venom yet to so take four <laughs> points of poison damage. Oh, um. um. Did we rest or heal before this? No. Nope. I still have 35 written on my character sheet. From so yeah, it's just nope. a dwarf thing. That's not a halfling thing at all. Yeah, so take four points of poison damage as the venom courses through you. Surprisingly weak as it is. Yeah. Cora, your turn. Um, I guess I'm... I back away it's gonna take an AO on me, but I really can't use my bow at short range. And there's two right next to me. Uh, what is you have, my You have name? a cunning action, right? You can disengage as a bonus? Question mark? Good, but then I wouldn't be able to hide. I also yes. opportunity attacks against you are made with disadvantage. There we go. So I have right. escaped the horde as a ranger. So I'm just gonna run. All right. Well, it will take an AO on you at disadvantage. Yeah. Both of them will take AOs at disadvantage. No, nope, just the one. You're only in range of one. Uh, I was right here. Yeah, and there's that... snack oh, here. there's the snake. snake here. I'm looking at the rats. Sorry. Yeah, it's very confusing. Um, <laughs> I overcrowded the the, uh, the the dungeon map. 17 to hit. 17 uh, is a hit. No. Roll a con save. I got good rolls. You can see them right there. Yeah. Six piercing. Eleven plus six. Yeah. That's a big attack mod. These are pretty cool snakes. Yeah. They're they're almost Magical. humanoid in size. Wait, another oh, snake geez. is attacking Korra. I ran. Yeah, away. as she ran, oh, she took, took an AO. Okay, I, I guess. Uh, Twelve. Oh, Twelve. Uh, advantage of the that. 12. 11. 12. You resist the poison, the venom from the snake. That's just four. But you still take oh, six. Roll. I already rolled six points 21. of damage from the piercing okay. of the bite. Um, and then I will shoot that guy who keeps freaking. Oh, I guess. You're going to hide as well? Uh, no, he's already in melee range with an ally, so I get that anyway, right? That's the, true. Uh, the uh, they're actually not in melee range. They're within with the rats? They are, oh, but that's they're true. They're that not in melee. Be, that's they true. Are not, that's true. For I, the I rats are not threatening. For sneak attack, it's just they have to be within five feet. Yes, so I still get the sneak attack bonus 
and has it been damaged yet? No, so... It has not been damaged yet. I'll just smack it twice. You. Loose, two arrows, quick succession. Both hit. Oh, and I was going to take minus, but that's okay. Too late to say that, I guess. Yes, yeah, got to um, say it up front. Yeah. So the first one is going to be 2D or a D8 and a D6 for the sneak. And then plus five, I think, right? For damage? Then, yeah, plus uh, five on top of that. Oh, actually, these are beasts, so plus seven. All right, so 14 for the 14. first hit. And then I get to do an extra D8 on the second one, but no D6. Good battle music. 14 going. again. 28. 28 points as both arrows sink into it. <laughs> Looks mad. And then I will... He's next to me, lost in... Uh, hide behind the lost. Alright. Roll to sneak. You feel pretty hidden. That brings us to Alec. All right. Um, we're going. Those are pretty mob. They're all pretty mob. Um, we're just gonna charge into the most dangerous place. Um, actually, can I, can I walk over the rats? Is that a thing? They are allies. Uh, they'll let you pass. All right, I'm gonna. Can I, can I, I can occupy the same space as them because they're a horde, right? Let's see. How does that work? Yes. Okay, then I'm gonna I'm gonna go right here. And uh, let's see. I'll use my bonus action. So this tile right here. Actually, oh, okay. Tile over. Um, I'm gonna cast. Uh, oh God, I even forget the name of it. It's been so long. Good enough. The uh, spirit guardians. Spirit weapon. Okay. But I'm gonna cast that. I don't know. Let's say like right here. Just wherever. Summon here, forth here the snake. glorious gauntlet of Helm. And take a smack at him. And take a smack. Roll the hit. Oh, that's going to hit for sure. That's going to hit for sure. Go ahead and roll damage. That is 10. And then I'm going to... Uh, okay, you smash this snake, and it stays on the ground. Oh, it's dead? It's dead. Okay, well then I'm going to smack this guy with my mace. All right, roll the hit. Oh, you bring down the crusher. Oh, just... Oh, like Snake slithers out of the way and repositions. Whoosh! Rears up and hisses at you. That brings and us to Nerida. Who is confidently in the middle of the room. Um, can you scoot the screen down a little bit so I can see like the other snake side? This is the, the other snake, yeah. Sorry, there'll be a little, little bit of a delay too. The one by chance. Yeah. Yep. You can see everything. Okay. Yeah. Um, seeing that Alik has that side handled, I will walk to be um, ten feet away from the snake by chance, and I will first uh, try to cast spiritual weapon. All right. Oh yeah, Alik, roll to add ah, too late. <laughs> oh, anyways, it's fine. You always remember for me and not Alik. <laughs> well, you said try to, which is what keyed me off. I know. So. I did yeah, roll high. wisdom to make sure you can cast spiritual weapon. You have to roll it. Oh yeah, it's a rather pathetic save. So yeah, can she even probably do it? Plus five I don't know. No, nope, no problem. <laughs> Summon forth the glorious okay, um, barnacled yeah. moon tiara. Roll to heat a snick. We'll say you and the tiara are acting in concert. Uh, what's your bonus to hit? 
Um, well, my wisdom is plus five, and I always forget whether it's the damage or the attack that take gets the proficiency as well. It's the attack. So it's either damage five or eight, or nine, I mean. Okay, and then so plus nine. That will hit, and it's D8 All right. yeah. plus five. Yeah. Eight points of radiant nice. damage, I think. I think it's force. Oh, yeah. Okay, your moon tiara just cleaves the snake in half. It was barely right, hanging on. With my, nice. With my action, I will attempt to smack it with my glaive. No, it's dead. Oh, it's dead. Oh, great. Is there nothing else here? There's nothing on this side. Um, can, do I have enough, enough movement to hit the other snakes? You should move ten. Uh, yes, you could move here and hit. Oh wait. You could move. I have a ten foot reach. Right five. You could stand amongst the rats atop this table. Yeah, uh, that's fine. We'll have. I'm gonna have you make a trivial athletics check. Okay. Yeah, you do it. Okay. And you want to attack that snack with glaive? Yeah. Choppa choppa. Chop uh, its head off. You can do it. Plus eight, eight? I think. That well, will plus, hit. One minus four plus, you know. Yeah, whatever. that will hit. All and right, um, a D10 and a D8, please. D10 and D8. D8 is like thunder damage or something. Yeah. The D8's better than the D10. Plus right. four. Uh, yeah, no, it's plus one glaive, so plus five. Oh yeah, that's right. Not bad. As you slash into it with your glaive from afar, a subtle boom of lightning, boom of thunder, I guess, cracks out. It recoils, rolls around, and sort of stands back up as snakes do. Uh, at the end of the round, you hear more hissing. Snakes drop out. They won't stay in place among these rats. I feel like this might be a room of infinite snakes. I mean, snakes can't be infinite, right? I think anything can be infinite. <laughs> uh, Arali is like, they're still coming. What do we do? Put the key in the hole. Ah. Uh, I'll try. Two, three. Did she disengage? Because otherwise she's taking an AO. Uh, she is gonna not disengage because she wants her action, so she is taking an AO. And that will hit her. Helpful reminder. Oh, I knew. I was just thinking about it. Okay. Um. She does save, but she still takes five points of poison or er, piercing damage. So the snake bites her. She ah, smacks it away. She's gonna make a somewhat trivial athletics check to make sure she can get up on this thing. Okay, and then she's gonna do. She draws the key from her bag. Hey, that's pretty good. She thrusts the key in and slides it around for a second or two while everyone sort of nervously watches, side-eyeing all the snakes the whole while, and then seems to click in place somewhere. Uh, she turns it. It's like hoping she doesn't lose an arm. As she turns it, you hear we're rumbling she's gonna have to make a little dex save here oh she quickly hops off the little circular dais as this fountain in the center starts descending actually she's gonna decide whether she wants to stay on the fountain or not she does not want to so she hops back out here. I think I think I did it. It's rat attack turn. 
Okay, they are. Right let's down. see. So, uh, they're these one, two, three, four are all going to move in on this guy. There's one under here too. Oh, that then though, all five of them are going to move in on that guy. Yep, this <laughs> rat rat stack. The snake recently uh, emerged from the wall. <laughs> just gets utterly swarmed. Red stick a tick. Uh, the and red, then red stick a tick. And they're going to, uh, 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 they're gonna bite at uh, that guy, at that snake. They Those all five. have more than half HP, so roll to hit. Do, 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 do. Roll to hit is it's five d twenty, plus two. Oh, yeah. Rats get pack tactics too, right? No, they do not. No. <laughs> I chose them for a different reason. Uh, miss, yeah, all plus two. hit, miss, hit, miss. So two hits. Okay, and then that's 2d6. 2d6 piercing. The snake is just like trying to snap at them, and every time it kills one, another one just leaps up and bites at it. So that's 14 points of damage oh, for the wow. two that hit. Pretty good damage, at least. They're tearing the snake apart. Again, exposing bits of pink under flesh by after ripping away scales. Bits of muscle and blood are flying out. Rock. And Whoa. then now these, these five are going to move in on that guy. There's no successful way to pile these rats, so... Uh... I know. Ah! Let me roll the last one, you <laughs> bastard. Hit, hit, miss, hit. Hit. Okay, so, so four, four hits. This snack is going to have a bad time. You know, this snack wasn't damaged yet. 25 points of <laughs> piercing little little rat bitey damage uh, yeah they rip it to shreds nice that's what I was hoping for is there a and rat then because that's that was yeah, five you're and right. five so there we go so then these six are all going to go after this guy there are two snacks over here for some oh reason. are there okay Oh yeah, there are two snacks over here. Oh well, then in that case, uh, let's do. Oh, there was not three. a rat missing. It's under this other snack. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah, three and three sounds good. Gotcha. Okay. It's chittering, horrible piles of rats. Ah shit. Miss, just full on miss. Okay, we'll, we'll do this one. Fourteen, fourteen, thirteen. Uh, hit, hit, miss. So two hits. Okay. Eight points Great. of piercing damage. Eight points of piercing damage. Fresh. <laughs> All right. Well, Gwen. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hide behind Chance, who's just fallen over all over the place over here. <laughs> Stop day drinking, Chance. I I'm gonna drink hide a lot of bog water. There, and since this is less than half of my movement, I think Supreme Sneak lets me get advantage on my stealth roll. Oh, yep. So Pretty hidden. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so then I'm going to shoot at that snake that is closest to us. Okay, roll to hit with advantage. Actually, no, not advantage. Oh, is it too close to me? You're not sure. Three plus what? Uh, three plus seven, seven. yes. Yeah, so Will not hit. Okay. The arrow ricochets off the wall behind it. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Um, cool. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, lost. Ugh. What the hell do I want to do? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Do a little dance. Kill a little yeah. snake. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Uh, you know, I don't have very many good things for just like single target indoor things. Um. So, so <laughs> screw target which... outdoor is fine, but indoor, yeah. No, can't yeah. do it. That's true. What's uh, that's that's also true. Uh, all my stuff is all my good stuff is concentration. What's uh, this is it was the snake over here that got missed, right? This one is that yes, a snake? This one okay. got missed. Okay, everything uh, under the pile of rats is a snake, <laughs> yeah. uh, except so this, which died. I'm gonna move. Uh, here, and I'm going to cast Thorn Whip at this snake. All right. Roll to hit, right? It's a melee. Knight plus nine, so that'll hit. Yeah. And then. Do you okay. wish to pull it? No. I th think you can choose, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I get to choose as well. Uh. Six points of piercing damage. Yeah. As you conjure the thorny whip, snaps out and lashes the serpent. Very good. Anything else? Nope. All right, chance. All righty then. Since that thing is covered in rats, <laughs> does it still get mayo on me if I move away from it? Yes. Damn, what a fuck face. Um, all right, then I'm just going to take my turn disengaging. All right. And moving away. Uh, yeah, again, standing. Just can't really hit the rain anymore. Right. In the middle of the room, as safe as I can be. There we go. Okay. Snicks. Uh, will... Sorry, Wilgwin. He'll probably have a bad time if he moves, but... Yep, because he gets AO from all the rats. And they roll the hit. <laughs> this snack comes up and looks at Arali, and she's holding the key in her hand, and it sort of darts away. It goes towards Lost. Well, Two hits. Eight Almost damage. That sucks. The rats nibble. Oops, I did that math wrong. There we go. All right. Both snakes moved. Uh, both snakes moved. So yeah, roll in more, and I'll roll to hit Welgwin. Uh, thirteen to hit. That's one hit. Logwin, what's your AC? Is it 14? Oh, I think Maggie is using the bathroom right now. Oh, okay. I think it's 14 at least. I'm pretty sure it's 14. Or, yeah. It's got to be at least 14. She's got plus three. I or mean, four yeah, it's 14. Yeah, 14. okay, yeah. It was like rogues are not great at having AC necessarily, but. All right. This is to bite Lost. Uh, 19. And that definitely hits. Uh, I'm gonna hellish rebuke that asshole. Alright, roll a constitution save and a concentration save. Okay, so, and okay. take 5 points of piercing damage. No problem. So that's my constitution. So All 17. Right. The venom courses into you, but you shrug it off. It was a 5 points of damage that you said? Yes. 5 right. points piercing. And then concentration with advantage because I'm a warcaster. They're both oh ones. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> well, all the rats go away. <laughs> Rat attack. Shit. 
is yep. gone. Whatever. Most of them are dead. You're so distracted by how hard this snake is biting you. Feels very bad. Um, this snake is going to bite it. Alley, because why? Oh uh, wait, I'm I'm doing hellish rebuke on that snake. That oh yeah, go well. for the hellish rebuke too. So just, that's just a deck save on his part. Oh, that's a pretty good save. Yeah, is that yeah? 15, it's a really that save? really good save. In fact, well, that's fine. So, <laughs> but it'll take some fire damage. Yeah, five takes fire half damage. That. Yep. In fact, I have a sound effect for that. All right, this snack will bite Alik. I'd like to see it try. It'll crit. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You Roll saw it try. a constitution save with advantage and yep. take oh, God, uh, seven points of piercing damage. Oh, oh no. that's not ideal. That's still a 10, though. Uh, that's not enough. The venom is going to course through you. Okay. Only hits for half, fortunately. Uh, except that it crits, so have a bad time. That's true. But half of double is better than yes. full of double. Oh, it's no. 22 cut in half is 11 poison Thank damage God, as the venom no. courses into you. Yeah, that would be very bad. All right, snack's done. Cora's turn. How many snakes are left? Uh, three. Three. <laughs> Same as before. Who's doing the work? Okay. I guess I will hit this one. Okay. Do one, and I'm self. Plus 11. Uh, you're hidden, right? So you should have yeah. advantage? Oh. As an well, Actually, no, I sorry. You don't have advantage because you're not an stuff. unseen target. Yeah. Well, I will think I'm, that's okay. Um, um, still, 21 for the first one. 21 will hit. And it's already damaged? Yes. Plus five for plus seven because it's a oh, beast. Plus seven. Nineteen. Nineteen. Oh my god! Does that exactly kill it? Just it just slightly overkills it. The arrow just right through its head. Lumps lifelessly on the floor. Uh, do you want to move? Snakes. One, two, three left. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, you didn't point. There are two left. There are two They're left. There. Oh, These are spiritual are... weapons. That's the spiritual oh, weapon. Oh, okay. Got it. Uh, so let's attack the one that's uh, attacking Log with. Sure. Minus five. Uh, so plus six is 25. It will definitely hit a lot. I'd be surprised if you didn't kill it, I guess. Oh, we don't plus. get any cool dice or anything. Seven. Plus, uh, 17. Oh, right. That took minus five. All right, the arrow like straight through up near its head, like writhes and hisses. Sorry, guys, you. I needed to get into position, but now I seem to have found their weakness. Hey, no Just worries. Shoot them. <laughs> Fucking arrows. <laughs> arrows everywhere. Um, You're weak to sharp metal. <laughs> All right, Alex's turn. Uh, move away. Run. So All righty. Hide. Um. Oh yeah, this one's still up, right? 
Yep, I left the one by you. You said you were. All right. Um. So bonus action. I'm a half lane. So I get one. Wait, what is that? At least. Wait, what are you doing? I'm hiding. I'm stealthing. Oh, from this neck over here. Yeah. For All 21, right. just in case. Okay. okay. My my glove is slapping that snake, and it probably missed. That's 11. Nope. Will not hit. All right, then let's see. Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna do a good good old fashioned smash. Everyone's in pretty okay shape, so we'll just hit it. That'll do it. That'll hit. Roll damage. That is. What's my plus damage? Plus four. So, 15. Ow. Smashed it. You seemingly, like, flatten part of it. It just wriggles around. Either side of that portion is moving, but that portion of the snake's body is now seemingly lifeless. And smoldering with radiant fire. Yes. Nerida. So there's uh, two... Two snakes left, is that correct? Two, two snakes. Okay, um, yeah. I think I can't see, but the one by Walgwen has my spiritual weapon next to it. Yes, it does. Um, so I hit. will attempt to hit. Yeah, roll the hit. That's a big gold hit. All right. Roll damage. <laughs> uh, that's a big old. You killed it. Again, your moon nice. tiara just cleaves the head clean off the snake sort of like wriggling around, barely moving still. Boop, the head flies across the room. And then uh, oh, I will walk till I'm 10 one. feet away from the nope, other one. there's this one here. Yeah, I killed the one next to, that's the one that she just hit. No. Because I, I killed no, that one. No, she hit this one. My... You did not kill this one. Oh, okay. Even with that high yes. damage roll. Okay. Okay, sorry. It was not super high. Um... Okay, you're just gonna slash at it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that hits. Your to hit is seven plus seven? Plus eight, I'm pretty sure. Plus eight? It's four strength and four proficiency, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. And it's d10 and d8. Plus one sure. for the weapon, right? So nine. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, that. Will plus four, right? Is 13? 40. That'll kill it also. Plus the one for the one. <laughs> <laughs> plus 14. Uh, we'll cleave it in half. Hooray. Get out of here, Snack. No more Snack. Do you want to move anymore? Um, There's no, no other enemies that I see, right? Yeah. That's correct. No. All right, I'll stay where I am. All right. This platform descends pretty far down in. And then... More snacks emerge. Run away! <laughs> Bad damn snacks. Uh, run away? Yeah, run I think... Away! I, run away! I have a feeling that these are just... They're just gonna keep on coming. Alright, she sort of jumps over the side and clings to the side and lets herself drop down. See how she does that. Eh, she does okay enough. Yeah, not that badly. It's okay, Kalani. <laughs> <laughs> she drops down. There's not a lot of space in there. Oh. Oop. Can't see anything else, right? Just this I top piece? I just see piece. The, the well, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, rat attack is gone. 
Walgwen. Run away! I'm gonna <laughs> go. Run away! One, two, three, four, and I'm gonna jump over this thing and go with our girl. All right. Roll an acrobatics. Okay. Or athletics, your choice. I think that's gonna be acrobatics. But let me continue. You could maybe fit one more small person in here right now. Just or you could all like each other. Yeah, pile on top of each other. Dog pile, dog pile. That is an eighteen. All right, you leap over the side and like grab a Raleigh on your way down, and she sort of bumbles but catches you, as you've almost forced her to, and then she just sets okay. you down next to her. So it's uh, just hi. like an empty little space in there. It's or? it's pretty awkward. There's it's still that like fountain shape. Mm. Um, that you seem to be descending down on. She sets you down on like the lower level of it okay. and is standing on the lower level of it on one side, like trying to stay kind of close to the wall. But because the wall, you're moving down past the wall, if you like hold yourself against it, you'll kind of scrape against it. It might feel bad. Um, would it be another action to look around and see if there's any like door or anything anyway? So, yeah. I mean, you jumped in for free, like as part of your movement, okay. it's fine. Cool, so I'd I like just... to look around and see if there's a way out of the little stone. Uh, okay. It's just stone walls all around you. So I've just jumped into <laughs> <laughs> Lost, did you have something? <laughs> uh, no, I, I mean, is is the is the fountain thing kind of still descending just very slowly? It's still descending, yeah. Okay, oh, okay. that's that's what I want. I, it's I about figured. 10 feet every six seconds. your turn uh summon more distractions and get out of here <laughs> yeah that's not a bad idea i i will yeah you know what i'm gonna go ahead and do another uh actually you know what hold on a second i just need to look at something real quick do 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 Oh yeah, I'm gonna use use my boots. All right. Uh, I want I want to summon some some dryads. You have to have already invoked them in order to summon the dryads using them. What? You gotta ground Brian? yourself. And then summon. You have to ground yourself. Oh, I see. Which you may be able to do. You don't think you could do it on the tile? But you think maybe like the edge of the well type thing, you, you could potentially dig roots through. Well, F that, um, for now at least. Because uh, I will go ahead and just cast Conjure Woodland Beings and summon dr Well, uh, yeah, summon Dryads. So actually, what the hell are they? How many can I get? Uh, dryads, I think, are a quarter, honestly, which is goofy. Dryads are... Uh, no, they're a challenge rating of one. Oh, yeah. So I think I can get, like, one of them, but hold on a second. You can get two this. of them. Hey, yeah, there we go. So I'll do two dryads. Sure I have the dryad thing. Not sure I want to take the time to look for it, but we'll see. And I'm going to encourage them to try to charm the snakes, and if not, kill them. <laughs> All right. Um, and then I'm see. going to run to the well, and I'm going to leap leap into it. But on my way down, I'm going to turn into a... into a, I'm going to wild shape into a spider. Uh, wild shaping is an action oh yeah yeah i think you're right never mind so i'll stand <laughs> at the edge of the well for now okay you can sort of look over and see like eh, there might be room for you if you want to take a chance <laughs> Nah, I'll, I'll i'll stay here for now okay that well, brings us see. a chance yeah of course seeing that uh, Let's roll initiative for the dryads too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dude, man, let me pull up their stats. I 
I don't remember. I have they it have here. They're one. plus one. Yep. Oh, I would just roll for both of them, so we'll take oh, okay. two. Just simplifies things. That's fine by me. Made much difference anyway. All right. Well, then I, being the brave tiefling that I am, <laughs> run away from all the danger and immediately jump into the well. All right, roll athletics or acrobatics, your choice. Uh, let's go acrobatics, because I'm pretty sure I'm slightly dexterous. Plummet down on top of everyone in there. Hey, everybody. <laughs> That's a 12. Okay, um, it's not super far down yet, but you sort of like wrench your ankle as you land because of the uneven platform you're trying to land on. It's like four bludgeoning damage, but you're in there with everyone safely. All right, guys. Oh, 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 oh it hurts. Snicks. It's gonna bite Cora. I'm hidden. It wouldn't see me. Uh, you are fully You're exposed not. to this snake. And they sent you anyways or something. And I think you were hidden from these two. And also, yes, it, it knows that you're there. But fortunately, it rolled a one. So it tries to bite you, and in, you dodge out of the way, and it like... It hurts itself Clamps in onto the stone. It hurts itself nice. in confusion for one point of damage. Uh, the other two are going to go after Alec with ah, bites. You can't both crit me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you, say. you say you say that now. Um, Seventeen and uh, no, eleven. No. Boom, boom. You just deflect them both. Scoff at them. Cora, it's your turn. Everyone else is running, but <laughs> there's nowhere really to run to. I'm worried you could that, try to go in the well. Yeah. I'm worried that the snakes are just going to follow us before we have an exit. It's yeah. going to rain from the sea sky. Yeah. <laughs> Nipples is censored. What? <laughs> just turn off your chat filter. Mine's off. I know. I, it's still just interesting to see how many times it comes up. Like yeah. That. I guess I'm going to shoot that one. All right. Roll to hit. Uh, minus five. Eighteen. That'll hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Is it injured? Is it no, it is not injured. Neither of these are. I was sneaky. sneaky. You were sneaking, but the thing you're sneaking behind went away. <laughs> uh, then it's just a seven plus seventeen. Yeah, that sounds right to me. 24. 24. Not happy. Um, I guess I'm going to run next to lock. Take an AO um, with disadvantage. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Uh, 14? Or sorry, 10, because it's disadvantage. No. Nope. nope. Easy peasy. Either, Everything's fine. And I will shoot that same snake again with the All minus right. 5. Or uh, 16. That'll hit. It's going to have and a bad time. It is injured already now. already damaged. I can do 2d8. Uh, 17 again, is 24. 24. Yeah. And in one double shot swoop, you've deleted the snake. <laughs> and I'm gonna hide. Can I hide behind lots, I guess? Uh, Can I hide behind the side of the wall? Why am I thinking you used your bonus? Maybe you didn't. 
No, not yet. I you could hide behind itself. this crumbling table, but it'll I would say at disadvantage. Sure. Yeah. For as long as I have an extra Yeah, I, I specifically did not disengage to keep my bonus. That's right. Still pretty good. So, you feel real 17. hidden. <laughs> Alec. All right. Um, yeah, uh, my glove is going to smack the snake. Roll a hit. <clears throat> when will the snakes end? That is a 14? No, 13. Uh, miss. <laughs> Smashes okay. the ground and leaves a subtle imprint. I'll smash the snake and then run away. That is a eighteen. That'll hit. Seventeen. Either way. That'll hit. Okay. Come on, big numbers. Ugh. Well, that's still a ten. All right. 10 points of damage as you just clobber the snake in the face. Like, reels around, looks move. dazed for a moment. Um, yeah. Takes an AO on you. Yes, it does. 17. Nope. <laughs> Bink Very off your armor. Yeah, well, your AC is That's, absurd. Yeah. It's is good. Good AC. Nerida. You might be muted still. I um, know. I sorry. It takes me a bit. Okay. It takes me a bit to get the app up. Um, let's see. I will um try to hit that snake with my spiritual weapon that it's yep. next to. That's what I was thinking. That'll hit. It's gonna feel right. pretty bad. Six plus five, right? 11 points yeah. of damage <laughs> cuts into it leaving a large gash across its back it's a snake right <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right and so um like how far down is the platform like what's the situation about 10 it? feet it gets to me oh okay and everyone else is in there not well, everyone not <laughs> not every less everyone. than a little less than half the party is effectively in there oh, okay they ran out um, of space. Well, there's no space in there? Is that what's uh, going on? Yes, Sorry. that's pretty true as well. The entire sort of floor of the platform is populated by people. You could okay. just jump um, on top of them and pile on top of them, but... I'll just polymorph somebody. Yeah. Throw you <laughs> in. Does it, <laughs> does it seem like I could tie a rope on to something around the platform? Uh, if you could certainly tie a rope on the big snake head at the top. You wanna run over and do that? Uh. Would be a trivial yeah, task no, for you as fine. a sailor. I think it's fine. Um, I will get in the in the on the platform. Okay, you're just gonna like jump down on top of everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, no, everyone. no rope. Just come crashing down no, with rope. your armor and everything. Yeah. Oh god. Hi everyone. <laughs> There's like Welcome. actually not enough room in there. Uh, roll. Well, we'll do an athletics check for you. Which is gonna be rough. Yeah. Okay. You kind of. Plus eight. You're squashing somebody. It's Welgwyn. Sorry, Welgwyn. Yeah, right. Kind of collapse on top of Welgwyn. You both take two points of bludgeoning damage. Right. Manage to stand up, but like now everyone is almost pressed against the walls, and again you're moving downward. Oh, as the can walls I lift her up, up to my shoulder? Uh, maybe next turn. I didn't use my action. Uh, you kind of like pulled this maneuver and then you both fell prone as you collapsed okay, on top fine. of each other and then stood up <laughs> done a lot of things uh dryads are going to 
like you said, speak with beasts and plants. No, they're, it, no, they're gonna charm, fey charm. Yeah, fey charm, exactly. Which is a f DC 14 resist. Don't think snakes are very wise. They're not super wise, but they get charmed regardless. The dryads whisper soothing words into their snake ears, and they seem to relax significantly. There you End go, guys. The turn. Uh, oh, yeah, shit. Oh, well, hey, everyone's down in the well, uh, up until me. <laughs> Everyone is on this platform. Just put you off on the side. There's now significantly more room above them, but a jump might also be more dangerous. Uh, and... Are we allowed to, like, yell at each other? <laughs> yes. Are we, like... Lost, you could bring someone down. On her back. It's a Raleigh's turn. She's just gonna hang out in the well. There's not a lot she can do. Like, oh, this is this is exciting. I'll catch you, Cora. <laughs> well, Gwen, it's your turn. There's not a lot you can do in the well. Um, Unwell, Gwen. You can climb up on narrator's shoulders. Yeah, you can yeah, climb you know up on what? I'm gonna shoulders. climb up on her shoulders. Okay. I'm gonna get into a more comfortable position. You could also like take out pitons or try to grab the wall. There are a bunch of We're still just like, like cruising. Potential handholds. Right? Yeah. And it's slow enough that like help others. <laughs> well, it's, her options are pretty limited. Sorry, could I move my um spruce weapon like the twenty feet it's allowed to go closer to the hole as well? Sure, it okay. can actually be in the hole at that rate. I mean, not blocking it, but you know, just like around. Right. Me. Yeah, you know, I don't want to get crushed again. So rather than just climbing up onto her shoulders, I'm gonna tie a, I'm gonna take like a, a baton and some rope and try to like chuck it up to the edge of the um, like fountain side so that people can climb down the side instead of just hurling their body okay. into my body again. So, okay. They'll have to secure it in some way, presumably, but you can definitely get the rope up there. I mean, make an athletics check. It's not a very long throw, so you don't feel like this will be too much trouble. All right, rope coming up, guys. <laughs> yeah. <It's a> <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> Sails right over the side. There's a bit of rope hanging out of the well. Lost. Nobody attack the charm snakes. Old note. Which <laughs> ones are charmed? The dryads can have up to three beasts, so they could keep on doing it. That's um, true. Blah, blah, blah. With that, there's like a a rope coming up out of the thing now. Can yep, I it has tie a piton at the end of it. You could. Can I try to you, tie it off to the statue or something? Sure, or make a fairly trivial dex check. If you were a sailor, you would do this for free, but you're not. I am proficient in survival, um, but that's fine. Still, so, yeah, this you, straight it's 16. very secure. I'll start heading down the rope. Uh, I will not. I'm going to stay right where I am. Okay. Uh, chance, you're in the hole. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Snacks are going to... Fight some dryads? Maybe not. No. They're gonna bite a lost. This one's gonna bite. Or, or Alec. Alec. So two on lost. I'm defending lost with one. Okay. So this will be disadvantage, thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> it's a miss. Uh, 19. That hits. 
Roll a change the outcome at all, but that's what it is. Con <laughs> save takes six points of piercing damage. Fourteen. Look at Fey Charm. You save against the poison. Are you concentrating? Woodland creatures is concentration. Right? Yeah, woodland creatures is concentration. Double one. Let's see if I do better this time. Dryad's got to concentrate. You succeed. Let's see. Last, it just lasts 24 hours. So yep. the other snakes are just charmed. All right, attack on Alec. 25. <laughs> I don't know why this is happening. Make a concentration or a constitution save with advantage. Spiritual weapon's concentration, wow. isn't it? Wow, it's or not. Is it not? No. It's not. It's I failed goofy. Con save again. Damn. That's a uh, so take nine. seven piercing. Hey, and six poison. But that's all the snacks can do. Or his turn. Um, okay. There's um, a rope. I, before I take my turn, should say I've got like 20 minutes or so before yeah. I'll need we'll to resolve this for sure. The computer. Um, then maybe I'll be able to do voice stuff, but not computer stuff, definitely. Uh, let's go ahead and do the one that I'm still hidden from. Oh, but it's charm. So let's do this, this, and this are snakes, and then these two are allies. This one is so charmed. Far. Yeah, this is charmed. dryad, this is spiritual weapon, this is dryad, this is spiritual weapon. There's like three that aren't charmed. I have Ali right next to me. I guess I'm going to try to move to the other side of Ali. You'll take an AO with yeah. disadvantage. Big no, in fact. Yeah. Bites the edge of the well in an attempt to bite you. And takes two damage. Uh, I'm lost, Ellie. Which one of you needs aid more? Like healing aid? Like killing things that are on you aid. Oh, I'm Who's fine. hurting more? You're fine. Um, okay. I'm, 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 I've got a couple snakes on me, but the dryad probably can at least charm one. Well, I will shoot this, uh, are either of them damaged? No. Then, yeah, I'll Those are one. new snakes. New snakes, they keep coming. It's because they're not charmed. I was hoping to harvest some snake fangs, but I guess that's not going to happen. Uh, both are plus, I guess I didn't say minus five, so plus 11. Uh, Those hit. <laughs> yay. So the first one is just a normal. Oh, that's that's a D10. Eight. Yeah. Normal D8 plus seven. Nine. And then the second one is two D8 plus seven. Ooh. Nine, Nine and eighteen, so twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. So the arrows tuk -tuk into the snack. Hardly missing at all today. It's pretty good. Alec. All right. Um. Uh, this one's charmed, or no? That one is charmed. Okay, then I'm gonna move and my glove one. over here. Uh, it's gonna take a slap on this one near me. Roll the hit. Oh man, backwards. Here's my stuff. That'll All hit. Right. Roll damage. Divine glove slap of helm. <laughs> uh, it's nine. All right. Uh, I'm going to politely request everyone else go ahead and go down. Uh, and then I'm going to take the dodge action. That's like a good idea. Up on top of this and dodge, even cooler. Sure. Yeah. 
It's that fine. Not gonna work. We know where you are. I know where I is. All right. Uh, Nerida, you're in the well. You want to just hoist Welgwyn, or...? I think she's just chilling. Dryads are going to Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. Stuff. Yeah, it's fine. I got you. Gonna, they're going to try to charm these snicks because these snicks are on Lost. And they both fail, so they're both charmed. Hooray! <laughs> Most of the snakes are charmed. Okay. Let's just do this. settles into place at the bottom where there appears to be some kind of door. Uh, Arali's like, hey guys, there's a door! She opens it and steps out. Ooh. Well, Gwen, I assume you follow her? Oh, yes, her? sorry. I'm also going to step out with her. I'm going to follow her. All right. Stumble across the fountain. I think that may have revealed more than I wanted, but that's okay. Right now, I only see the bottom of the well. You don't see any of this stuff over here? Nope. I, just oh, I, I do, but I don't really see much, so. Weird. Well, we'll get to this part next time, probably, so. I assume everyone steps out of the well. Yes. And I assume everyone up top is going down? Yeah. We'll be lost first. Do the snacks not get a turn? Or it's snacks are after lost. Oh right, okay. I see what you're doing. Lost yeah. is climbing down the rope safely. Uh, uh, if a snack attacks Cora, I'm gonna defend. Okay. This snack is not charmed. I think it's there's the only, only one. There's not one charmed. snake up there that's not charmed, yeah. So yeah, it's gonna attack you, Alik. And you're dodging. I'm dodging. Good luck, Snake. And it got a one and hurt itself in confusion. <laughs> Takes three damage. Everyone else is going down the well? Yup. All right. As you proceed down the well, you find the door at the bottom. You find all of your compatriots have entered this other chamber. The snakes seem not to follow you. Is everyone else down there doing well? <laughs> Why don't you ask Welgwyn? Uh, oh, my time has come. <laughs> I think uh, we should stop there for tonight. Um, there's a lot more to do, and I want to really dig into it. We also haven't had a break tonight, so we'll consider this last 15 minutes our break. <laughs> um, thanks so much to the players. Love you guys a lot. Uh, we've been playing a lot of other games on TTS, too, which is really fun, and Risk of Rain and stuff, which has been great. Um, thank you to the viewers. We actually had to number of people turning out and chatting a little bit which is awesome hopefully you guys Hello. follow and stick around uh join our discord why Hooray. not follow us on uh twitch join our discord follow me on twitter do all the good things and maybe you can play some games with us during the week too um otherwise we'll see you all next week for more tales from tawatha goodbye bye, bye. bye.